What's up guys, SJC back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Today is Friday and there's a new Combine Warrior in packs. Uh, this week it is Darren McFadden and as it has in the last week, he's got an 80 overall base Combine card. He has, I think, 4 collectibles, maybe 5. Um, and then there is the uh, Elite version, like the boosted version that you get after you complete the set. So we're going to go check out the set right now. Um, we will be opening a 7 pack bundle at the end of the video, but here we go. He's got 10 cards in the set. You need four gold badges. You need the Darren McFadden 80 overall base card, which probably pretty cheap. Yeah, about 8,000. Uh, base card, decent stats. I mean, 95 speed, 89 trucking is amazing for an 80 overall, uh, but he wouldn't really last on anyone's team. And then you got five... Um, Five collectibles for the combine: six two ten eight broad jump, four thirty three forty, four ten shuttle, thirty six inch vertical. Uh, don't really need to check the prices on those. I'm sure they're going going like twenty to thirty k. Thirty five k is probably the most expensive. And then we'll go check out his ninety five overall version. Um, I know the Taylor Mays ended up going down a decent amount by the end of the week. Uh, by like yesterday down to I think about 100k I don't remember exactly how much but we'll check here both the prices of Taylor Mays and McFadden all right Taylor Mays is actually still pretty expensive maybe because he's uh you can't do his set anymore but the Darren McFadden is less than 120k and he's got some pretty decent stats for such a uh low amount of coins uh we'll go check out this one then so we don't get screwed over He's 6'2", he's got 97 speed, 94 trucking, uh, 87 ball carry vision, 88 elusiveness, 97 acceleration, 91 carrying, 93 agility, and 92 awareness. This is for his 2008 uh, combine performance. Um, we'll check and see if there's any hidden stats. He's got 82 catching, which is pretty good for a, um, for a halfback. Some pretty decent athletic stuff he can do. Um, 70, he's got decent release and everything too. So that's a pretty good card for, uh, for a late game running back for maybe a team that's struggling, just needs a little bit of a boost at running back. You spend a hundred K on that card and, uh, you get a really decent running back for a 95 overall. Now I know game changer packs are in the game, but I have never pulled a decent game changer pack. I've never pulled a decent uh, promo pack ever. So we're just going to go ahead with the basic pro pack bundle. Seven packs for less than a game changer bundle. And hopefully uh, we can pull something decent. Jarvis Landry there. Uh, I know all these bronzes can go into my uh, the trophy sets. Uh, I'm halfway through most of them. There's a couple that I still need some decent stuff. And there we go. Okay, we got a final edition Jonathan Banks. That's not too bad. That's my first final edition pull. Oh, this is for the Alshon Jeffrey, so they keep the old ones in packs, too. Huh. 6'2", 93 speed, 95 agility, 93 zone, 87 man, 88 press, 75 play rec. Uh, not the best card. Like, it's an 86 overall. It might actually... I might give it a shot on my team if he's not going for too much. Um, but nothing else in this pack. That's a pretty good pull, I guess. Uh, might pay for the pack. Uh, hopefully we can get another elite or two in this pack opening. Down a little bit in coins, not too bad as we get Shane Vereen, so we'll just go through the rest of these. Thrall Simon. I still do need two elites and one silver for the rest of the Mutt Master set as we get Brent Selleck in this pack. Um, I need a mini Silatolu, the left guard for the Panthers as we get Corey Graham, just getting golds from here on out. Um, I also need what, uh, Logan Mankins and I need Marcel Reese. Both of their prices are pretty high, just like out of nowhere, my guess is because they kind of go in sets. Uh, this is a 73 overall. He might go for something. We'll see if he goes in a trophy set too. He does. He actually probably goes for something because he's such a high overall silver. Uh, hopefully we can pull an elite here. Nope. Zach Ertz, 85 overall. Not too bad. Um, this might be our last pack. Nope. We got at least one more pack as we get Sebastian Janikowski. So we still got a chance in an elite in this pack and we didn't get it. We got Jeremy Zotta. Uh, Andrew Hawkins there, and this is probably our last pack. Yeah, this is our last one. 
Joe Volano. I think I still need him for... And we did get an elite. All right. 88 overall final edition middle linebacker, uh, Keenan Robinson from the Redskins. This is for the Brent Grimes. I did a pack opening for these cards yesterday. Ended up pulling two final editions today. Pretty good. Uh, not great stats. Uh, 87 speed, 94 tackle, 94 pursuit. Decent stuff, but not the greatest. 77 zone was pretty low. I like running zone, so I need a backer that's got pretty high zone. Um, we'll check and see if he's got any hidden stats. 52 catching is really bad. Uh, 94 tackle, 90 jumping's all right. And let's see what the hit power is. And hit power is 86. So not the definitely not the best card. He might go for something because uh, the Brent Grimes uh, collection is new, but. I mean, I'll call it a decent pack opening. Seven packs, we get two final edition elites. Uh, I, I doubt we made our 52k back, but we made something back, so that's good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have a Head Dead Seasons gameplay uh, out tomorrow. We're in the first round of the playoffs. And then also check back tomorrow for a decent sized pack opening for the Ultimate Legends. I don't know who they are yet. They'll probably announce it in the next couple hours on Twitter, but it uh, should be a pretty good video. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like. really helps out the channel. Subscribe. We are getting closer and closer to that 250 mark where I'll do a Twitch live stream. Uh, play you guys. Play some subscribers. And uh, leave some suggestions in the comments of stuff you guys want to see from this channel. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.